Hi guys, it's reaction time. Sebastian Bach is back with Everybody Bleeds. Annou just announced the album, I think yesterday. I don't think he announced it on the first uh, single, but he's announced it now. It's coming from the new album, Child Within the Man. Bit of irony for you there. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Hit the nail on the head, <laughs> for sure, there. I mean, Sebastian Bach, oh, Bach went through this last time I was uh, doing the reaction, whether it's Bark or back. Anyway, Sebastian back. Let's go for Sebastian back. He is a twat, you know, but, you know, he's, had a, <laughs> he's a bit of a twat. You know, let's, let's, let's face facts. He is. Can't shut his mouth. Uh, don't know when to shut up. You know, I, I can imagine being in a band with him is the fucking hardest thing ever. <laughs> Controlling him, trying to shut him the fuck up. <laughs> it's probably quite hard to do. So, um, but he's back. The last song was fucking excellent, by the way. And I was shocked how good it was. And I shouldn't be shocked. But I, well, I was. I think, you know, even with Skid Row, you know, the first couple of albums were fantastic, weren't they? And then they went a bit downhill. The last album was great, by the way, with Eric Grumble. Um, but they never have really got back to that as good as they were, for my, in my opinion. Slave to the Grind was their ultimate album. I fucking love that album. Um, but I've got to say, that last that last solo single from Sebastian Bach was fucking amazing. So I'm really looking forward to this one as well. This is uh, Everybody Bleeds. Here we go. 100 tip. Hurricane Irene was devastating for Sebastian Bach, a Stern Show guest and former frontman for Skid Row. Sebastian's New Jersey home was destroyed. lot going on in there it's very fucking busy very heavy <laughs> loads of time changes um i mean it's almost stop start quite a lot of it but i do love it by the way i love it i mean i think the first song had a lot more it was easier to get into it had more like a groove to it this is very stop start very heavy very metal almost got that 
you know, he almost as well that sort of punk edge that Slave to the Grind had. You sometimes delve into that punk territory, you know what I mean? Um, so it's got that in it as well, but it's hard to talk, tell what the chorus is. Not that it's not catchy, by the way, but I, I think the most catchiest part is the last part, which I think is the chorus. The rhythm of that sort of almost goes like normal, quite fast. Um, the bit that it's just, I just stopped it on then. I think that's the chorus. I'm not 100% sure, but it's it's very cool. He's, he sounds great on this and he's I think he's like, um, he's being really clever as well. Obviously he's getting older and he's using his voice in the correct way. He's not, I don't think he's, you know, putting vocals down on this that he won't be able to do live, if you know what I mean. And that's what you should do. If you're going to perform these songs live, think about it. Don't spend like a year in the studio just like, singing one note in a high level and get it right and say, yeah, we got it. And then you can't fucking do it live. I think he's being very clever. He's, he's a bit lower range on this one. Um, lots of layered vocals as well going on, on on the top of that. So I don't know if anyone else live in the live situation will be able to, I think it's him doing the layering of the vocals. So you know, if you're going to do that, you need a good singer with you in the band to do those with you when you do it live. Um, but, I really like it. It's so fucking busy, though. It really is. The time changes are a little bit fucking... I'm a simple man. So they're, they're fucking with my head a little bit. But I'm, I'm getting used to it as the song goes on. But it's very busy. Fucking a very modern, more of a modern sound to this than the last song. I thought the last song really harked back, you know, to the early Skid Row days for me. You know, it, that's how it felt to me. More straightforward, um, groove-laden. This is very you know, fucking busy as fuck. It really is. But loads of melody in it. I really do like it. I think this is this one will probably take a few more listens to get used to it. But love it at the same time. Great song so far. Here we go for the rest. I don't know what that was all about at the end, but Sebastian being Sebastian for sure. Man, it was a great song. 
an absolutely fantastic song and you know i think that hook that chorus hook really sort of bled into my ears at the end there i think it's a great one-two punch so far man for the album i really do he's, he's really he's got a real cool raw sound to it as well and to tell you the truth if these two songs you know came out straight after skid row slave to the grind i'd be fucking happy do you know what i mean i think this is a much better than anything skid row did after that i'm really really fucking wowed by these two tracks amazing stuff man that's very cool um everybody bleeds coming from the album child within the man sort of a title track as well at the same time child within the man was used all the way through that so it's sort of like the title track but not actually saying it is um but very cool very cool what do you reckon guys of that sebastian bark and everybody bleeds let me know what you think in the comments below and i'll see you soon